Well, there's a couple ways we can fix this stone. The first would be to set it back down in a quarter or a half inch of mortar. But if we did that, we would have to chip out this old concrete in order to get that down at the right height. And if we go to chip this all out, there's a good chance we'd ruin these joints, maybe even lift up some more pieces. So we're going to glue it in place. We're going to glue it. We're going to use a masonry adhesive to stick it right back down. Now the first part of the process is to take that wire brush. We want to get all the loose cement and dirt out of here. So just take and scrape it up. Just don't chip away any of the edges, okay? Okay. Not too wet. We want it nice and dry for the adhesive. Oh, John, that looks great. Nice and clean. Now, I brought a compressor, and attached to the air hose, I have this little nozzle that's going to shoot out air for us. Okay. What I want you to do is take these safety glasses, put those on, Come in here with a nozzle and get it right down in those little grooves and holes and blow the dirt right out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick your flagstone back down and we're going to do it using this concrete block adhesive. Now this is the same material I use when I'm building block walls and I stick the cap down. This stuff lasts forever. So now yeah, take this, I want you to run a bead about an inch away and just go back and forth over the whole area. How long does it take for this to set up, Roger? Not long, so we got to work pretty quickly. What I want you to do, let me have that. I want you to take this flat trowel and level it down so we have a nice even bed underneath there. If we have to, we'll go back and fill in some of the places, okay? You may have to push down hard on it. There you go. John, that's looking pretty good. But before we set your flagstone back in place, we're going to use a different material along the edge of the flagstone. What is that material? This is called mortar joint repair, and it's going to stick this piece of flagstone to the old cement that's there and make a bond. Okay, well, let's see how it fits in. Now, that's just what I wanted to see fits in nice and flush and see how it pushed all this mm -hmm. in? That means we have a really nice tight fit. Now I think we'll just go along the edge, do a quick cleanup. And get that sponge and we'll wipe it right off. All right, with the stone all clean and set in place, we've got one more void left to fill in. What I want you to do is take this mortar joint repair and fill in that big hole with it right there. Okay. We want to make sure that no water can get underneath this stone. You want to seal the water out. That's right. In this case, water is your enemy when it gets into your walk. Fill it all the way to the top. Now, take this joiner and smooth that out so it looks just like the rest of the joints. Okay, John, in order to blend the new mortar repair joint material into the old walk, I brought you a mix of stone dust and sand. I want you to take and sprinkle some right over the top of it. Because it's going to help blend the new mortar joint into the old. Is that enough? Now don't be shy. Put it right along the other joints, too. Now, tomorrow I want you to come off and just sweep this off, okay? Okay. How long before we can walk on it? Let's give it four or five days to really set up. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave you with this mortar joint repair. What I want you to do is any place you find a crack or a hole, clean it out, fill it in, and help save your walk. 